Hey everyone, this is Unlock24, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I will be giving one of my subscribers a, um, a PS4 on January the 1st, so do check back on January the 1st and see if you got the PS4, you will have a chance to redeem it. Uh, if you do not get to redeem it, I'll go ahead and give it to someone else. You'll have three days if I'm unable to ship the PS4 to where you're at. I'll go ahead and send you a gift card of $100 uh, from either Amazon or Steam. But uh, anyway, today we're going to be checking out the uh, the new uh, main box, Revolution Beginnings. Uh, overall, the box, I think it's going to be really good. It, it is the main box, so it is going to be, uh, or the stuff that in it are going to be quite expensive. So first of all, uh, Junk Destroyer, that's how I believe it's a level 8. You use Junk Synchron and uh, other more, uh, one or more non-tuner monsters. Uh, the effect is when this card is Synchro Summon, you can target cards on the field up to the number of non-tuner monsters used for the Synchro Summon. Uh, with this card and then destroy those targets so uh, it's really good especially if you're running ju uh, junk synchron if you're running level uh, uh, if you can get into a level eight you'll be able to destroy uh, several cards most of the time you're going to be destroying one but if you can somehow get two other uh, non-tuner monsters and use for uh, use them for synchros and you'll be destroying two uh, it's a must if you're running junk synchrons uh, the next one doom caliber knight doom caliber knight is actually going to be a really good card i think um a lot of the uh Anti-meta decks run Doom Caliber Knight and it gates basically any monster that comes out. The actual effect is uh, cannot be special summoned during either player's turn. If a monster effect is activated, tribute this face-up card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that monster. So uh, again, uh, uh, really anti-meta decks. Uh, it's a dark. It's a level four. It can be used with a Lord of Darkness whenever we get it, and it does negate a monster. It has a good defense, 1800, and, uh, and a really good attack at 1900. Uh, the next card, Miracle Fusion, I think it's one. Of, it's it's basically the card that's going to change the entire meta. Uh, if you don't know what it does, you can fusion out of the. Uh, well, you can special summon Elemental Hero. Uh, what is it? A fusion monster from either using materials from your graveyard or your hand, and most of the time you're going to be using the effects from the graveyard. Uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, Miracle Fusion is. Uh, a really really good card and again I do think that it's going to change uh, the meta uh, a little bit. Uh, the next one, uh, Karakuri Shogun MDL-00 Beret. Uh, this is one of the better Karakuris I think with this and the level 8 you're able to do a ton of different OTKs. Uh, I'm not sure how good it's going to do uh, or be in duelings but I think it will do uh, a ton of damage when it comes out and it's able to manipulate your opponents uh, or basically any monsters that attack uh, or position rather so overall it's going to be a really good card to look for Karakuri Shogun MDL Beret level 7 Synchro um, and then uh, Ancient Sacred Wyvern if you're running a lot of lights I think you might want to run one of these uh, if you have a tuner in your deck um, and TCG I think it was run with lights but uh, overall that's a decent card uh, next Fable Raging uh, one Fable Tuna, one or more non tuna monsters. When this card is Synchro Summon, if you have one or less cards in your hand, you can draw until you have two cards in your hand. So, I believe there is some sort of OTK with this card. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, Fables do get uh, a, an OTK with Fable Raging or Raging or whatever it is you want to call them. Um, it's a super rare, so I guess it's, it, it's an overall decent card. Uh, Shrink, for those of you that don't have um, Mirror Wall, uh, or the uh, Super Rush Shrink is going to be a really good card. Um, it was used a lot in uh, in gadgets. I remember using this card in gadgets. Uh, target one face of monster on the field. The original attack of that monster is half into the end of this uh, turn. Basically, it's a mirror wall if you haven't played that for, the, for that long. Uh, but it is in a spell card form and it's only for one monster. I can You can either use it to attack or to defend. Um, again, really popular in anti-meta decks. Um, I think I will try to get a couple copies of it and see if I can uh, maybe do Shrink and then uh, do Caliber Knight and maybe build a deck around those uh, those two cards. Uh, next, <clears throat> Unending Nightmare. Uh, continuous spell, super rare. You can pay a thousand life points and target one face up spell or trap card on the field. Uh, destroy it. You can only activate the effect of Unending Nightmare once per turn. It is a continuous spell, so oh, from not a spell but a trap card, so I think uh, you might see some sort of uh, gameplay with it. Uh, it does destroy one card on the field, so I guess it's good. Uh, well, the, they're showing some combos here. Uh, this this is one of the main cards, and it sucks that it, they made it a super rare. Um, 
making it a super will make the deck extremely extremely expensive to uh, uh to run and i, I kind of do want to run it because I, I i do enjoy characters a lot uh and i've been playing characters for a really 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 long time uh but uh anyway uh it's a super rare oh it, and the effect is this card must attack if able when this face up card is selected as an attack target change it's battle position well, this card is face up on the field once per turn during your main phase you can normal summon one character monster in addition to your normal summon or set so basically you're always using that second effect the first effect doesn't really matter um character cash cash so set one cool face up character monster you control add one level four lower character monster from your deck to your hand and change the battle position of the selected monster so uh it's a it's a decent effect and again the ray all right so for the ultra rares the um the Jung Destroyer that we've already seen, the Beret, the Wyvern, uh, the uh, Underworld Fighter Balmung. So level 4 Synchro, 1 tuner, 1 or more non-tuner monster. When this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target 1 level 4 lower monster in your graveyard. Except this card is pushed on that target. So if you're running something like uh, like Plants, I think you're going to be able to go, go ahead and summon this and take advantage of that second effect. I think it's a it's a really good card. I, I guess it's deserved of the ultra rare uh, rarity that they gave it. Um, the fabled Cerbero. Uh, I'm not sure how to say that. I have this card this card to the game. You special summon it. So again, um, there's a loop with this card. Uh, I can't remember what the loop is again, but uh, I guess it does deserve the ultra rare uh, rarity. Uh, fabled Grimrome. If you control a face-up fabled monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and add one fable monster from your deck to your hand except fable Grimlock. So again, uh, the, with that same combo with the fables, Doom Caliber Knight, Miracle Fusion, and then Shrink. For the uh, the Super Rares, Iron Chain Dragon, of course this is a zombie I believe. Oh, it's a dragon. Dragon Synchro Effect. I'm thinking about the zombie version of it. So this guy does have a zombie version I believe. Uh, it's one uh, one tuner, one or more down tuner monster. You can uh, you can remove from play all iron chain monsters from your graveyard uh, to have this card gain 200 attack for each card removed into the end phase. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. So it's a decent overall monster, I guess. Um, another fable, uh, the fable raging, then fable raven. Uh, of course, the character the Ninishi uh, one uh, Inisa. Aina Sichi and then the uh, Quacky Marrow Rock Lord. I can't, don't I remember seeing this card. Uh, during each of your end phases, destroy this card unless you send an Iron Core of Quacky Marrow from your hand to the graveyard or reveal one warrior type monster in your hand. Uh, you can tribute summon this card by tributing one Quacky Marrow monster. When this card is normal summon, you can remove from play one Quacky Marrow card in your graveyard to destroy up to two cards your opponent controls. Alright, so I guess it has a decent effect. Um, then Shield Crush, I, I, I think we, I, I don't know if we really need it, we do have no one across that and that's really isn't used as much. So it's a super rare, so I guess it's a welcome addition. Character Cash Cash, um, Diamond Core of Quacky Marrow, it's a decent card. Uh, synchro Material, select one face of monster your opponent controls. If you Synchro Summon this turn, you can use the selected monster as a Synchro Material monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase and turn you activate this effect. So, and then we've already seen Unending Nightmare. And then we get into the Red Stable back here is um, Kubabi, Axel, and then Iron Chair Repairman. I think everything else is Fables. Oh, we are getting, I think this is one of the main cards. That with Kisushi and um, Misamu, uh, and this guy's strategist, the strategist uh, Nishipachi, uh, and then Shinkoro, this uh, loop with Shinkoro and the uh, and Burado, Burado's at level eight, uh, synchro. So uh, again, quick uh, war arms, and then Quakimero walls, Quakimero gravity rose, speeder, recycled. Everything else is just random, I guess, random common cards. Okay, oh, Gateway to the Dark Wolves. It's a regular card. Target one Dark World monster in your graveyard. There's some of that target. You cannot summon other monsters to turn deck. I would expect this to be either a super rare or an ultra rare. I'm not sure why they just they made it just into a random card. Oh, well, uh, it's, I guess it's going to be easy to obtain, I guess. And 
poison chain, this white veil, bear behind the door, and then the nash Nanashik. So overall, uh, the cards that I'm basically gonna be looking for is the Quirky Marrow stuff. I think that they, they are gonna, they, they are a really good deck. I topped once, I believe, with it. Uh, however, whenever I topped, I was abusing uh, this card. Uh, Karakuri, Komachi, Nishi, and when I topped, uh, the uh, the judges, when uh, when I was playing, they ruled it that I could use Nishi's, uh, uh, I guess, once every time I special summon it, so I was just, I was basically abusing this card. Uh, I would summon it, activate the effect, special summon it, activate the effect again, and I guess since the other cards were somewhat new, they really didn't know the rulings on it. So they ruled it to where you can use it every time you summon it. And I think that's the, one of the only reasons why I topped it because I was just basically a, uh, abusing this effect. Um, and then I did manage to top eight on it and I, I did get a match for it. So uh, overall, I do enjoy characters. I did play them for a really, really, really long time. Um, so I will be trying to get the deck. So whenever the box is released, uh, do check back and uh, We'll see if we can go ahead and get a build and get a build going and see how well they're going to be in duelings. Um, hopefully I get lucky and I get some of the uh, the berets really early and I can reset the box and then show a deck with them. But uh, anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on this particular box uh, down in the comment section below. And um, again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Like I said, I will be giving, oh, not giving away, gifting one of my subscribers a PS4 on January the 1st. And then... Um, if you have any questions, again, just leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And again, do subscribe if you are enjoying my content. And I'll see you guys next time.